the Grand Canyon, one of the seven wonders of the world and visited by nearly five million people each year, brings joy to those who come to see it, but a sense of home for those who take the time to explore it. In the spring of 1869, one great man with large ambitions and a courageous crew pushed off into the Grand Canyon with the hope of discovering its secrets like many before had tried. John Wesley Powell. His crew was a band of Civil War veterans who were searching for the next great adventure. They pushed down the river with barely any food and the scare of ferocious rapids around every turn in the canyon walls. After Powell's expedition, the river was quickly dammed in many places by man. In 1953, the Glen Canyon Dam was completed, making it the closest dam to the entrance of the Grand Canyon. This dam caused Lake Powell to be formed above it and allowed control of the water flow through the Grand Canyon. The dam was a symbol of man's power until 1983 when the biggest snowmelt and major storms the dam had ever seen tested its limits. The dam was unable to control the mass amount of water coming from the river above, so the operators made a decision to close the canyon off to any river travel so that they could safely release the water. However, what they didn't know was that three men pushed off in the middle of the night in their dory, the Emerald Mile. Although it was illegal and incredibly dangerous for the men to do this journey, they set a record for going through the Grand Canyon, all 277 miles, in just under 37 hours, with water flowing at 108,000 cubic feet per second, launching them through the canyon, the Emerald Mile and its crew showed the world just how much rafting the Grand Canyon had to offer. Fast forward to December 30th, 2015, the launch date of Green Mountain College's first ever trip down the Grand Canyon. The trip was organized by Dr. Andrew Bentley and Dr. John Van Hosen, two professors at the college. The permit was held by Chris Moon, two other boats were captained by a man named Goose and a man named Muskrat. These five men captained five different boats with 11 bright-eyed students going down the Grand Canyon, rapid after rapid with the canyon walls growing around them, going on amazing hikes to see breathtaking views and mind-boggling waterfalls. I'm Maddie Brown, I'm a senior adventure education student at Green Mountain College. I was a participant on the Red Canyon trip. I'm Alex Howard. I'm a senior in the Adventure Education Program. My name is Colin McAndrew. I'm a junior with an Adventure Education major. My name is Anya Beal. I'm a sophomore, sophomore here at Green Mountain College. My major is Natural Resources Management. Hey, my name is uh, Katie Vogt. I'm a senior at GMC and I'm an Adventure Education major. I'm Cecilia Walsh. I'm a sophomore and I'm Major in Adventure Education. Zach Peterson, senior at Green Mountain College and part of the Adventure Education Program. My name is Andrew Bentley, and I'm the program director for the Adventure Education major at Green Mountain College. I'm a professor of the program as well, and I come to the college with a bachelor's degree in geology, uh, a master's degree in outdoor recreation. Social Sciences from the University of Idaho. It was the first day that I went on the ducky, which is the inflatable kayak, the open-faced inflatable kayak. And so it was the first time I was challenged to breathe the water myself, and I fell in, and it was a blast. I like really felt the power of the river. favorite moment was when we were going down Badger Rapids and we got the boat stuck on the rocks and I started freaking out because I had never been in a rock before and it was like day one and I started freaking out because I just felt like we were going to tip over or something and John played it really cool and so it was just like this moment of sheer panic with like these words coming from the back of the boat just like saying like, it's gonna be okay, we got it. And like, it's just, you know, it was, I think it's my favorite just cause it was like day one 
like shock factor and then everything was like just absolutely actually okay and handled extremely well. The group had a boat flip in Crystal Rapid, which is a Class 8 rapid, with three people in the water from this incident. Cecile Walsh and Katie Bode were the two students in the raft that flipped. That. We start paddling, and as we start paddling, we see Goose's boat just like right up on the wall, and I see Goose try to high side, and then all of a sudden, kaboom! It went over, and then all I hear from Emily is that there's someone under the boat. Just the whole being underwater for that long is probably like the closest near-death experience I've ever had. And being able to think about, oh, I could drown right now. I think I am drowning right now. And it also crossed my mind like all of my possessions were in that boat, but I didn't care at all. Like just not caring about anything but air in my lungs is a really humbling experience um, that I'm really grateful that I had because I have a very different perspective on life now since then. But yeah, flipping the boat. After the flip, I didn't really do anything. I just kind of stood there and watched everybody do everything. And like granted everybody was like, oh my gosh, your face and everything. But I was just kind of like, holy moly. That was, it puts it in perspective sometimes. Uh, I had the opportunity to visit the Grand Canyon as a student uh, many years ago. And it, it changed my entire outlook on my, uh, my professional goals and and really how I looked at life. I was exposed to the river for the first time and it just changed me fundamentally. And I, I didn't realize it at the time, but looking back. As the group moved down the canyon farther and farther, they learned to love the canyon and everything about it. John Van Hosen teaching them things about geology along the way and the rest of the captains teaching them how to successfully guide a boat.